Gotta put the band back together. I'm on a mission from God, <laughs> which is a cute nickname I had for my first girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, it didn't work out. Mm. <laughs> Look, if, you know, Peach thing doesn't work out, what with mm -hmm. the, the whole Bowser marriage thing. I've got something going We're on here. We're gonna get a sugar mama. We're gonna embezzle city funds. <laughs> and it'll be the perfect crime, because Mario will be the only cop. <laughs> Captain Toad, this is a very dangerous place to be. Captain Toad knows no fear. <laughs> Filled with a spirit of adventure. <laughs> I love that Captain Toad has his own little dance for when you get a moon. Captain Toad, you just need to know one thing. This place is photorealistic, so if you die here, it's for real. <laughs> well, careful. it's not for real, but you do bleed a lot more than in most Mario games. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> also, look, they got the internet. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, I am trying to work. <laughs> I'm writing my novel here, sir. And what they're looking at on the internet is an article about those weird cubes <laughs> that have been appearing in the world, oh, no. in the kingdoms. Maybe it's maybe that's a conspiracy theory website. Yes. Well, guess what? I'm police. <laughs> that means I'm the inspector too. Gotta let me in. Newspaper? It seems to be dinosaurs? about dinosaurs. Yeah. Mm. The underground power plant. People here sure do love buildings. Captain Toad was right. <laughs> I mean, where I'm from, hate buildings. Can't stand the things. Awful. I haven't awful. set foot in a building in four years. Terrible buildings. I love caves. Caves are where it's at. <laughs> I'm a caveman. Well, that that street we were just on was was uh, Cruel Street or King K Rule or Cruel or whatever from Donkey Kong Country. It seemed like a pretty cruel street. Mm-hmm. It's a mean streak. Hey, get in the band. I remember you. Okay. Sonic Adventure looking motherfucker. Come on. <laughs> get over here. Uh, can can I stand on a box or something? I've just got a nose full of guitar strings and it's not great. <laughs> Yeah, you can play guitar or whatever, but I can momentarily float <laughs> on a cloud of air. <laughs> yeah, every time you add a new musician, it adds another layer of music to this area. That's cool. Yes! Oh! Ah! Uh -huh. You better be paying these musicians by the hour, otherwise the drummer's gonna feel very cheated. Yeah. If they all get the same rate at the end of the day. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what, what their pay is like, but that guitarist, when we recruited him, he did say that her gig rates are really good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also the garbage man. I, just, I didn't do a bit of everything. I mean, it's true, Mario does do a bit of everything. Yeah. I got more jobs than Bobby. <laughs> and like... Like, Mario has so many talents that any moment he could just retire. And he would be set for life. Yeah, that's how it goes. You, you develop talents, you become very good at things until you're too good, and, and you have to retire. Yeah. This usually happens around age 65. <laughs> Oh damn it! 
gotta retire. I'm just embarrassing everybody else. It's so good. It's time for a new Mario to take up the mantle. It works like the Santa Claus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, my, my backflip isn't high enough, but uh, you can grab onto the, the poles for all the traffic lights and flip off them. Nice. Yeah. Uh, if there if there is one issue with this level, it's that uh, if you're 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 going for a hundred percent and you want all the purple coins, oh boy, is getting all the coins here a nightmare. <laughs> I there's bet. a there's a hundred of them and there's so many places they can be. It's just oh, it's so hard. Even with a walkthrough, sometimes you just go like, the fuck! I looked at all the fucking purple coin spots already. Where is it? And then surprise. You forgot to look at one of the purple coin places. It's not really a surprise. <laughs> it's more of a disappointment, I guess. Surprise is disappointment. <laughs> I like flipping on these uh, flagpoles mm -hmm. because it implies that a flag is just a hat for a pole. Whoa. And that's why you can possess them. They're flagless, so they're hatless. Yeah. Whoa. So, so many things can be hats. <laughs> I love that, uh, you know, you can, the closest band member, you can just hear him a bit. It's the, the trumpet player, and I love that he's, like, rocking out, but, like, unlike the other guys, he's just fucking playing scales. <laughs> yeah. It's just scales, dude. Come on. He's keeping his fingers nimble. He's not busking. Like, there's no one around <laughs> to hear him but you. <laughs> what does he care? I guess that's true. Hey. I nice want him scales. to keep playing scales. <laughs> like, when you put him in the band, yeah. it's just a trumpet player doing that. He just- he just fucks up the whole festival, because it's just scales he keeps doing. What do you call that song? It's- it doesn't really have a name. I, no. Can we all enter it? Play Hot Cross Buns! <laughs> I don't- I don't know that one. <laughs> Play Taps! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> what was that? Yo! If you're trying to shake my hand, I'm way down here, buddy. Yeah. Let's make this work. Oh, man, I should just bring an apple crate everywhere. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah. Now it's coming together. I know this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, play World 1 2. Oh. Come on. Do you have any requests, like the kind of musician? Mm. R nothing? No? Okay. Yeah. Do we need a woodwind? Is that what we need? Am I looking for an oboist? Huh. Theremin player. I didn't know this game had a oh. cameo from Dead Mouse. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of b other buildings going to. This, any place has got a white void inside of it. I'm too young to go into the light. I'm only 25 years old. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like, uh, Ma Mario's like that one comedian I can't remember the name of who, who keeps saying he's very young and a millennial, even though he's like clearly <laughs> fucking 55 years old. Dan Nanan, thank you very much. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, Mario's like that guy. <laughs> my name's Mario, my mom's Italian, and my dad's Italian. That means I get my Italian food from an Italian restaurant. <laughs> this is the opening to my stand-up set. Woo! It's so good! <laughs> <laughs> now this is the part where I show pictures that I took around the city, and it, I clearly don't understand the meaning of the word litter. <laughs> Fucking Dan Ninen. <laughs> oh wait, was he the guy who just tweeted like that 
pristine bottle on an otherwise clean street? Is that him? Or am I thinking of a different thing? No, the the thing I'm talking about is like one of his stand-up bits is to just show pictures that he thinks are funny but aren't funny. <laughs> and one of them is the side of a garbage truck that says, please don't litter. Uh -huh. And he's like, but if people don't litter, the garbage men are out of a job. Like, uh, no, they, they pick it up from bins. That's not litter. The opposite of litter. Yeah. Like, <laughs> have you oh, never seen man. a garbage truck in your life? <laughs> What's the deal with garbage men? Nothing about Dan Nynan is as funny as him starting, like, years-long beefs with people who say he's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> or doesn't deserve, like, his incredibly high-paying gigs. Because he only plays corporate retreats and shit, yeah. where you don't care if you're funny. <laughs> you just show them that you've played other corporate retreats and shit. Right. Oh, man. Also, another thing that just, like... Uh, it's surprising is like, you know, okay, realistic people and all this stuff, but mm -hmm. also, uh, there's just, there's like people of varying skin tones, which Nintendo's never done. There's no mm -hmm. black Mario character, okay? Right. But you're here and all of a sudden it's like, no, yeah, there's just, there's just black people and it's like, what? No, those are people who tanned a long time. It's, it's like Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, Animal Crossing. Did, oh, I, did they I, change that in the uh, in the mobile one? I think, I think in the mobile. I think in the mobile one, you can just pick your skin tone. Yeah. Yeah. Which is you know something that took him like fucking ten years to do yeah. after people yeah, yelled at right? him a lot. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> like it's like it's not hard to do. <laughs> like, like they already had the tones and they're just for tanning. You could just make it a thing. Just put in buttons. Like fuck. <laughs> I know a lot of things are hard to make in games, but. Buttons! For it's a, new, new Dog City is a, is a path to the future. <laughs> yeah. Like... It's probably easier to put in a fucking FOV slider. People are always <laughs> bitching about those. <laughs> Anyways, I like this, uh, the look of this level. It, it, it yeah, feels, this it, is very it, fun. It, it reminds me of, uh, a galaxy level. I mean, it's yeah. in space. It, it feels like something that would be like a, like, tactile, interactive kind of board game. Yeah. Uh, a lot of Galaxy stuff kind of felt like that. A lot, like, a lot of the levels in Galaxy just felt very toy-like. Like yeah. They were, they were made from building blocks and stuff. That reminds me of, uh... Any any Mario games will ever go back to the design elements they had in a uh, Mario Three that were all to make the levels look like they were set on a stage. That, yeah. that was that was something I always liked about the third game. Whoop! And the name of the play they produced was Doki Doki Panic in Japan. <laughs> Whoa! This is a video game fact I never knew about. <laughs> There's so much tomato sauce here. You just got somebody surplus? has a severe addiction because like all these cans are empty. Yeah. Also, I just we didn't really acknowledge it at all, but I do want to point out that one of the captures in this game is just becoming a manhole cover. <laughs> Mario is just a manhole cover. I want to understand life from every perspective. <laughs> So this outfit, including the perspective of an American flag. <laughs> uh, this outfit I'm buying is probably familiar to some people. It's uh, the outfit he wore for Mario Maker on the Wii U. Yeah. What golf outfit? That's what you wear to golf, Mario. Yeah, that's that's actually uh, that other outfit is the outfit Mario wore for the first Mario Golf, I believe. I think it's what he wore in the cover. Yeah, it's, it's one of his Mario Golf outfits. Uh huh. Yeah. Was the game released on the 4th of July? I'm I trying know. to understand. I, I don't know why he's dressed up like the American flag. I just know that's where it's from. I want you to join my golf team. <laughs> Alright, now that enough time 
has, has gone by. That nut we planted, it's a big flower with the moon in it now. Oh. Yeah, that's what those do. Good job was... busting open that nut. <laughs> Mario's been doing a lot of nut busting recently. It's just, uh... The mood he's been in. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is how people used to get to 100. They would get on the scooter because no matter how long you press the button, the scooter's jump is always the same height. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was a strategy lots of people had uh, when this game first came out. Alright, so... Okay, not this building. The next... It's the, that building I parked nearby has something really rad in it. We'll get to that soon. Yeah, we went sure, to this place sure. first. <laughs> I like this place, though. I like that they base an entire, like, little challenge around the idea of... ...going against public transit. <laughs> A baseball game just let out. Yeah. The most well-dressed baseball fans. <laughs> ah, push it. Oh, oh, sneaky yeah. sneaky. That one's pretty sneaky. Like, when this game came out and people were sharing cute little videos, and there's that person who had like a hundred moons or something going in at once. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was this kingdom, right? <laughs> yeah, I think it was this kingdom. Uh, yeah, the first go around in the Metro Kingdom, there's like 60 moons or 70. And by the end of the game, there's over like a hundred moons to get here for sure. Um, but yeah, you, uh, there's one video where somebody was in the Metro Kingdom and uh, via good use of the, the different warps in the kingdoms, they did not board the hat ship until they had 400 moons. <laughs> and it took like several minutes to deposit all of the moons into the, hat, the, into the ship. What? Whoa. What are you training to do, sir? The Olympics, I think? Gymnastics? Are you, are you doing American Ninja Warrior? <laughs> Excuse me, Donkey and Ninja Warrior? <laughs> what is this? This is oddly... ...not animated. <laughs> like... Yeah, the swinging is weird. This looks like a little plastic toy. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. I mean, it's also because, like, I am purposefully rocking the stick back and forth to make him do that animation, but... Yeah, it looks weird. Did that man personally put that moon up there? So what sort of building uh, do you live in? Oh, it's great, it's great. It's a flip-up. It's like a walk-up, but you have to do gymnastics. <laughs> I'm on the 84th floor, so... Yeah. Uh, grocery day is kind of a pain. Yeah, it's a pretty good workout, though. Uh, if you fuck up, you're dead, though. So, you know, you got that to worry about. Whoops. I should have dropped instead of trying to jump to get these. Here we go. Ta-da. Yeah, this stuff uh, particularly feels more like one of the levels from, like, uh, Mario 3D World that was on the Wii U. Mm -hmm. um, that stuff was, a, like, a lot more obstacle course based in its levels. Oh, oh, looks like Mario wow. died. Yeah, it's, uh... One of the fuel tanks in him blew up and he went off veering off course. It's a very challenging level. Yeah. Yeah, right when you hit about 70 coins is where it's, like, the purple coins just start <laughs> feeling just impossible to find. Yeah. Out of my way, I gotta get to work. A building inspector. <laughs> I have to set the world record for most buildings inspected in a day. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's one. Yep, inspected there's one. It. Yep. Uh, hey, I gotta inspect this building, nice too. building you got here. Yeah, let me in. Thank you. Yeah, I am the inspector, and I will inspect the building. Thank you. Bye. Let's see. Let me check off. It does have an exterior and mm -hmm. has a roof. You're doing very well so far. <laughs> uh, I can see it has at least three sides. So, yeah. 
doing good Got so a little, far. Uh, hedgehog infestation, but I took care of that for you. Don't, yeah. you don't have to worry. It's, it's fine. Seems the hedgehogs keep coming back, though, so you're gonna have to, uh... You know... Get a different guy oh, for that. that's so cool. Yeah. The, the way it clears out the... The clouds. clouds. Yeah. Also, if you jump when you're an electric guy, you can grab coins. Ooh. Does anybody live in the Undercity? Is that is that old Donk City down there? Yeah, I wonder. Like, was there some kind of awful disaster and people just... They just built the city on top of the ruins of the old one? I just mean somebody is down on the ground, mm -hmm. the ground ground, <laughs> looking up at the clouds and seeing these geometric lines cut through it. Yeah. And they've got to be wondering, what's up with that? Yeah. Maybe it's the... You know, it's like the lower class or something. Maybe it's it's one of those types of cities, futuristic city things. So the anime kind of city. Yeah, the anime kind. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> -ha, fucked you. Nice. Let's see, I think I pointed out in like one of the earlier episodes, but like there's a lot of sounds in Odyssey that uh, I'm forgetting the words for the, the term for this, but uh, a lot of the sounds like change with the tempo of the music and also like the the like actual notes of the music as well. Mm -hmm. So like the, the sounds of flying around as Electric Mario change depending on the, the background music. It's it's dynamic, is that the word we're looking for? There, there's like an actual like musical term, but I forget yeah. what it's called. But yes, dynamic. Everything's dynamic these days. So dynamic. All right, I inspected that building. It had several buildings within it. Cool. Now yeah, I have to which go. Seems like it should be against the rules. Yeah, gonna go inspect you, you this building too. Definitely skirting some sort of zoning issue by putting buildings in your building. All right. Well, this building seems fine. Uh, oh, it's got oh. a dinosaur. It's got a dinosaur in your building, though. That's a bit of a problem. And he bites. So <laughs> you're gonna have to do something about that. The, the, Look, you can have the biting dinosaur that wears aviator goggles. You just gotta have a license for it. Uh, must go faster. Must go faster. <laughs> I wish, like, halfway through this, like, the giant gun truck from Sonic Adventure 2 just ran over the dinosaur <laughs> and started chasing you. That dinosaur died. Mm-hmm. And now there's only one left on the other <laughs> side of the world. Oh, They were pen pals. They wow. were pen pals. Uh-oh. That dinosaur's never gonna know what happened to him. Mm-hmm. It's also very hard for Tyrannosaurus to be a pen pal. Yeah. What with the stubby little arms. He's gotta have other, other dinosaurs help him out. Dinosaur friends. Why is there a sort of relief of the moon? in the town square there. I don't know, actually. Maybe they just like the moon. Maybe there's an evil secret to this city and they all worship the moon. Oh, here's the boss from before. Oh. You, you can grab that. Oh, the little plugs are very good. Yeah. The plugs are very, very good. Mm -hmm. this lady. Devil's ass. That's right. Yeah, the, the special handbag, that's one of the, like, items you would pick up in Donkey Kong to get extra points. Yeah, yeah, in, in one of the later levels. Yeah. The second level, even? I think? I think it was the second level, yeah. This man loves his birds. I love birds. Except starlings. <laughs> oh, it's on your hat! Mm -hmm. You got a little birdie bud! Mm-hmm. I don't know what the maximum amount of birds is here. I think it goes even higher than what was there. <laughs> I'm just happy that one of these kingdom's coins looks like a dang coin. Yeah. With the face of their leader on it. <laughs> As you can see from my uniform, I am a musician. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love the voices of... Oh, by the way, the, the name of the civilians for New, New Donk City are New Donkers. Uh-huh. But yeah, I love the voice, the voices of the New Donkers, especially the band members. Hmm. Whoa. It, it looks like you have some power, though. I don't know. Well, you don't have enough power for the festival, power. though. Yeah. I, I... Man, they're just here for this one I song. This seems like enough for me. I mean, I don't want to put you out. <laughs> I guess I'm the one being put out doing all these favors. So yeah. Oh my. It's fine. <laughs> Why is that man so worried about telling me about the power plant? Urban Playground. It's redonkulous. <laughs> It's industry is information and ads. Oh boy, somebody had a meeting. Somebody got <laughs> approval for Redonculus. <laughs> the noble sport of RC car racing. <laughs> what? They threw all the th performers out on the streets and closed the theaters, and they're selling that as a good thing? <laughs> oh my Fuck god. Fuck you, Pauline. Your city is built on lies. <laughs> Appreciate the constant Power Moon based progress and development. Anyway, I'm gonna go follow this mystical rainbow spike. <laughs> That's a hell of a manhole cover. Yeah. I'm a power plant inspector. That's a building, right? <laughs> I just want, like, he went like, whoa. But I just want to see one person see Mario suddenly jump into another thing and then just go, ah! <laughs> I just want one person to be scared by this whole thing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I see. Oh, it's a perpetual motion device. <laughs> Mayor Pauline's got it all figured out. Except for the piranha plant problem. It seems problem. like their, their energy concerns would be a thing of the past, though. Yeah. I mean, the, the boss sucked out a lot of powers, so I guess... I guess this is maybe just one of multiple power plants. Uh huh. And they, they need this one for the festival? I don't know. Special festival power. Yeah. <laughs> also, I like the, uh, the graffiti in this area. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, some of it's like Bowser graffiti. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Also, I like that uh, when you when you have this outfit on, the, your your hat makes a different noise when it hits stuff because it's it's a hard hat. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Yep. I uh, remember the first time I heard this song, back when I was 25 years old. <laughs> A new dog lesson? You're gonna sleep with the cheap cheeps. <laughs> oh damn it. I think it's kind of funny that even though these guys are, like, huge, like, they still only take one jump. <laughs> I love their fist pump. Oh my goodness. Look at them. Yahoo! So if New Donk City... Mm -hmm. 
is New Dog City. What's what's across the river? What's hmm. like? I don't know. Also, the the, the fact that this is called are, are these guys from New Sammy, the, the <laughs> Sammy Shore? <laughs> Everything's Metroid, but kind of skeevy over there. Whoa. Also, like, because this is New Donk City, and, you know, Pauline was, was captured by Donkey Kong and stuff, that means Donkey Kong was named because he he did that in New Donk City. Uh-huh, like, yeah. yeah. He didn't get his name from something else, he got it from doing that thing in New Donk City. Whoa. So then, uh, clearly, reparations were made, you know, he was granted citizenship and, I guess, personhood, and his whole clan really, yeah. really made good on it. They, they yeah, made names totally. for themselves. Gotta love Tiny's Piroshis, Piroshkis. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the New Dog City Festival, a celebration of the history of our city. And now, to get things started, her honor, Mayor Pauline! Devil ass. <laughs> Yeah, the festival is fucking rad. This this is what we do. We transform the entire city and then put one person inside it. <laughs> yeah, another man saying <laughs> jump man jump in, in reference to being Mario used to being called jump man. But yeah, I I love the the city festival and it's like <laughs> Yeah, the song. It's like Mario. This game came out in 2017 when like a ridiculous amount, of, like extremely good games came out. And while I don't think mm -hmm. this game had like the best soundtrack of the year, it had the song of the year <laughs> with, with, with this song. It's so good. Whoa! Yeah. Are you sure this isn't the Sonic tribute level? <laughs> I feel like if any other, th there aren't very many other games that have been around that if they pulled something like this off where it would feel like as deserved as this does. Mm -hmm. Well, a secret though. Yay. People are cheering you as you take the things that they that you need, desperately, for, for power. but they're just making in a factory. <laughs> or no, they're not making, they're sucking the life out of them in a factory. Yeah. Which is... I, I guess you're not so different, you and them. Whoa. It's really satisfying. I was able to get all these coins on the way down. Yeah! Oh. Pro strats. Lucky. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's super cute. I hope Donkey Kong's here <laughs> to say hello to his good friend <laughs> and bitter enemy. <laughs> Constant rival, former captor. The thing that's weird though is like that Donkey Kong is Cranky Kong. He's old! <laughs> I don't subscribe to all these theories. I have my own <laughs> theories. We know this. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, look, there he is. There's Donkey Kong. And look, just for old time's sake, oh, I'll let him get me with a barrel. Yeah, but that should be instant death if we're. Mm. He's, he's really doing you a solid. Yeah, it, it's it's great that we're celebrating Mario's birthday in this way. <laughs> uh, so, Pauline's dance here is actually referencing the two-frame running animation she had in, in the Donkey Kong arcade game. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, and also, we'll, we'll stick around for a little bit more of this song just because the, uh, for certain parts of the song, the band, like, dances to it. 
<laughs> I, I want to show that off because it's really cute. But, yeah, I wonder how early on, like, this song came about. Like, was it, like, did somebody... Was this song put together and they went, boom, that's it. Let's make the whole game revolve around this. <laughs> okay, we got it. Like, it's got to be a city. It's got, like, Pauline's going to sing this. I'm just thinking about whether the new Donkins voted for her because of her singing. Yeah, like I instead of a instead of a debate, they just had American Idol. <laughs> I love the band members like jumping, especially the guitar guy in the left. Oh yeah, he's a veteran of the punk circuit. <laughs> he he went to a lot of underground shows in, in the Washington scene. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the festival is so good. And uh, actually, it's, they knew people would want this too. So like, even after you finish this part, like you could just go up to Pauline later in the game, just go like, can I do that again? And you can. <laughs> you just know that all four of these guys are dying for a ska song to break out and Pauline is refusing at every turn. <laughs> oh man, just wait until Nintendo gets into the ska phase. <laughs> it's gonna happen. And that's the end. Uh, credits roll <laughs> after this, because what else could, would you want? Right. Like, the this, end. this totally could have been the ending. I'd be fine. Devil's ass. <laughs> devil's ass. <laughs> Why does he say devil's ass? <laughs> I don't know. I never noticed that. Then the instant you point it out, it's like, yeah, devil's ass. 